Yeah, and I'm here helping you. That's right. This guy who changed the oil, and I don't know how it is. His DD works, so I like it. <laughs> this is Acme Moto. It's Acme Moto. Is the name of the motorcycle. I try to name. I name okay. all my motos. But she's so pretty. Well, Acme is a he, I think. But uh... <laughs> oh, okay. He's so pretty. He's handsome. So fucking handsome. <laughs> And um, yeah, so I'm just throw some Amsoil SAE 80 oil. Yes, let's show the product here. Yeah. And uh, so it's a little, <laughs> it's a little thinner viscosity as an 80 versus a 90, which is going to help with the shifting in the KTM. It shifts better, less fall, less neutrals, less okay. like unexpected neutrals. And I've already put exactly 0.8 of a liter, because that's what it takes. All right, here, hold okay. that, Deanna. And there's an overflow, guys. Right there in the back, let's zoom in. Oh, well, we didn't zoom in right there. And the oil's gonna come out of there as it overdoes it. Whoa, I'm really zoomed in now, okay. <laughs> no you editing. Have gloves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and so. Uh, okay, let's do it. There's so. the pause button. All right, I'm gonna pause. Oh, look at you. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I'm just, I got the AMS oil, the pour spout, and it makes it easier. I just kind of lock it on. And since we're doing the pretty much the point the full amount, I'm just gonna let it go to the overflow. Just go with the flow, right? Go in with the flow. <laughs> oh, and there's the overflow. Boom. Yeah. So it, yeah, it takes just under 0.8 before it flows out. So if you want to come in here, you can come and take a, a closer look. See how it's mm -hmm. just pouring out of the overflow. If you can focus. Yeah, there you go. Okay. The bolt and it's the overflow nut. Put that back in. Oh, I dropped it. <laughs> Cancel. Okay. <laughs> again. And of course, with the music in the background, the video will be demonetized for YouTube. So you probably stop doing <laughs> if I want to make like twenty dollars on this over like years. <laughs> Give it a little torque. Go over torque, and then there's your flow. Yeah. That's it. Easy. Easy. Okay, yeah, start up the bike. We've got the oil in there now. All right, let go of the button. Let go. Yeah, you're good. Oh, You gotta hold that one down, Deanna. Okay. <laughs> well, you I'm did learning, it. Okay. So it's He's your. A good teacher. It's your first <laughs> moto on and off. <laughs> Electric. <laughs> <My first> moto. <laughs> Sweet. Okay, we're back. Yes. All right. Goodbye. So we got the new gear oil in there. Obviously, I did air filters earlier. I got a new air filter in there, and, and uh, Deanna, I'll show you. We'll oil this filter a little after the front wheel removal. Okay. So I want to change the tire. I got some new tire for a new front tire right here. Wow. And this is the C19 green stripe, so a little softer. So we'll get rid of this old guy, which has like oh, 70 hours on it now, so it's pretty beat up. You can see it's like double. It's actually four or five millimeters longer, this one. So that's how that's worn down five millimeters. Wow. Which is going to make a huge difference overall. And Let's see what is the bike. difference. So to the toolbox. We need to do the pinch bolts. Amazing. And these are Seattle Tools. Um, it's a Canadian company, actually. And we're going to need, I think it's a 17 for the axle. So we'll loosen up these pinch bolts. Axle bolt. There we go. So we just loosen the right side first so we can break this loose. And so this is just like a bolt right there, as you see. Mm -hmm. And then we can loosen this side so we can actually get the axle out. 
Changing the front tire is not going to be fun because I got tubeless in here. <laughs> tubeless and tire changes on dirt bikes without the proper tools is really annoying. Um, yeah, so, okay, so I'll pause that. Or... Light. Okay, so I'm just pretty much just push with my finger. It wasn't too hard once you loosen them up. And pull the axle. There's the axle. The wheel pops out. With the guard, mind you, with this guard right here, this uh, Churby's, Look at that dirt in there. So this just, this is like the, it becomes, as you can zoom in there, it becomes the outer um, spacer for the front wheel. Mm -hmm. And uh, so luckily the grease in there is clean. Obviously a lot of dirt's trying on the edge. And if we look closely in here, you can see lots of fresh, there's not too much dirt that made it past the seal. Yeah. Wow. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're back, right? So we got the front wheel removed mm -hmm. and uh, check. I don't know if I want to tackle that front tire right yet. That's a, that's a half a day procedure for me. So we're going to move on to uh, prepping this, a backup air filter. So I'm using Maxima's Fab One and I got one of my filters that I cleaned yesterday. And uh, yeah, so it, this stuff's pretty okay, simple. Yes. We're going to just uh, I'll show you. I just kind of, and it, it just kind of goes on. You just layer it on and it just sprays out blue. And you just cover your whole filter. And we'll do this multiple times and then I'll, I'll work it in with my hands. The wind's going this way. Let me go this side of you. <laughs> you can see as it lays down. It's hard to see, but you can probably get a little bit of it. I'm doing so. And then uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it inside out. It's funny, when it sprays out of the can, it actually comes out like ice. <laughs> like the whole thing is frozen right now. Wow. It's just the, you know, because it's all in the can, I guess, and who knows. Now the can's getting a little slippery. Yeah, so we want to make sure it's completely surface covered in oil. It's a foam air filter, Deanna, so you need the oil in there to catch the dirt, and the foam obviously is, creates the structure. Mm-hmm. Interesting. This I'm is just... why it's blue there? Yeah, I'm because the ice? Well, I mean, yeah, you can yes. see it's kind of crystallizing. If you had gloves on, you could touch it. You can see. <laughs> so, yeah, getting the filter. And then I'm just kind of going to just work it, squeeze it. Yeah, and so when I uh, want to change the air filters, I'll be like, okay, just swap it. Because after you oil it and finish, like this mm -hmm. is going to take another 10 minutes of kneading and stuff and checking to make sure it's even through. But then you can just throw it on the next cage and throw it on your bike in the morning because you got to let it dry overnight or you should let it dry um, so the oil is completely saturated and dried out evenly. Simple. So, so anyways, you can take a pause on this. <laughs> Simple. So it's nice and saturated now, I can feel it. And then I can fold it up. Don't never twist a filter. You never wring a filter because you can okay. rip it, but you can squeeze it, right? I can collapse it and, and just give it a good squeeze to try to even out the oil. Yeah. This one sit. We'll let it sit now because that should be plenty of oil. Maybe I'll double check the inside again. Just to be safe. <laughs> it's important. I don't want dirt in my engine. Okay, well I think that's enough work for today. What do you think there, Dia? <laughs> yeah? I think it's enough information for today, so I'm okay. Thank you so much. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Oh, yeah, and then the bucket right here, guys. So, yeah, I'm going to let it sit, and we're going to grab the side-by-side -side here, Ryzen, and go for a little tour. Sounds good? Sweet. <laughs>